stocks are such an important part of any portfolio. Um, and they can be super conservative or they can be super aggressive, as aggressive as an altcoin, to be honest. Yeah. Right? Like we have our own versions. It's like penny stocks that can 10x in a day. Well, I love um, and that's what the Wall Street bet side thing. BitSwap is the hottest new way to trade tokens. Crawling all the top decentralized exchanges, BitSwap will get you the very best price and value for your trades. BitSwap is changing the game. Try it now at bitswapdex.com. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, the largest crypto channel on the interwebs. My name is Ben. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in cryptocurrency. And on Fridays, I show you how to do stonks. If you like money in crypto and stonks, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Today, I sat down with Justin O from a couple cents on YouTube in order to discuss what is the best way for new people getting into stocks to manage their portfolios. We're going to look at Robinhood, Fidelity, and Webull. Which one of these is going to reign supreme? Now, if you do want to sign up for Webull, make sure to head on over to bitboycrypto.com slash deals. Scroll down to the Webull section, and you can get yourself a couple free stocks. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump in and find out why Robinhood sucks. All right, guys, Friday is Stonks Day. Everyone knows that at this point. Uh, last week, we had a great conversation about Peloton. Uh, and I actually went and tried to buy it. I had some problems. We're going to talk about that today. But I'm joined as always by Justin from A Couple Cents on YouTube. And everybody, make sure you guys go to his channel. It's down in the description. Make sure to subscribe to his channel. Let's get those subscribers up, uh, numbers up for him. Uh, Justin, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. It's a market holiday. So unlike the crypto world, the markets are actually closed in the equity markets right now. Wow. So, so I can relax market. a little bit today. Whew. Crypto never sleeps. I know that for sure. So that's for sure. Well, let's talk about this. So, you know, we talked last week about Peloton and I was really excited to go buy it. And then literally every time I wanted to go buy it, it was after work or early in the morning. And I tried to go buy it and I realized you can't buy stocks at eight in the morning. What, what is up with that, Justin? Yeah, I mean, I think this is just a a very old market, right? And also you have to realize it isn't just trading uh, bits on the internet. Um, yeah. This is an infrastructure that was built over 100 years ago in the US, right? And uh, it's an infrastructure built to trade certificates of ownership that have legality and um, securities law all around it, right? So uh, in actuality, I think we should give the stock market a little bit more credit, right, for being as fast as it is, uh, given the government needs to bless. I mean, basically, when you own a piece of a company, yeah. um, like if I wanted to buy into... Um, I don't know, like uh, SpaceX, right? They're not publicly traded. Right. It would take a long, long time because I would have to go sign a shareholder agreement. I'd have to be on the cap table. It's it's actually buying a piece of a company. So I think that's the, the main reason why it, it takes so long. Yeah. So it's like, a, so what you're saying, we should give them credit. Like it's like a horse and buggy, but the horse is a little faster than we thought it could be. You know, and you know, I think it, it's also like they never had an incentive to get much, much faster. Yeah. Um, and the reason, and a lot of people uh, have, have known about the Robin Hood scandal and right. the GameStop scandal, right? The the way the industry has done it is they built all these rails where they start borrowing and lending stock uh, with credit in order to uh, make the buyer feel like they own it immediately. Yeah. Right. As opposed to uh, actually when you when I send you crypto, like it's in your wallet. Right. Yeah. Versus, so I would say it takes a few days to, to settle. And that's the whole that was the, the genesis of uh, at the root of why Robinhood had to like pause trading when things went crazy. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, like the, we still have trading hours for the Nasdaq and um, and the S&P and, uh, you know, just basically all the all the exchanges. Um, so the NYSE and stuff like that. But I mean, that said, any big legacy uh, brokerage will allow after hours trading. Yeah. Uh, the liquidity will just be really bad. Yeah. Well, it's weird. Do you, do you think the stock market will ever change in that regard? Uh, like, like, I mean, do you, do you I think, think they'll, they'll catch up to the times? I really hope that uh, that blockchain actually helps there. Yeah. Because right now, right, like it's being recorded on databases and there are laws that say that has to you know, like there's settle times. So 
it, the laws need to change a bit, but I, I mean, I think it probably will get faster, but yeah. not that much faster. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but crypto, we're 24 seven. So we love it, but you know what we got, we got to remember, we were talking a little bit before we went, uh, you know, on air here on the video, like right now in crypto, like we hear you talking about last week, like, Oh, Peloton, you could double your money in five years. And we're all like, what? That's it. You know, cause, cause right now in crypto, everybody's making 10 X in a few months, you know, and that's great. But you got to remember during the bear market, it'll be much better to try to double your money in five years with stocks than it will be to, you know, drop 97% in your altcoin bags in six months. And just to be clear, right. I'm willing to hold it for five years, yeah. right. That's, that's the thesis on Peloton, but ideally uh, over a couple quarters, everyone else in the market, like understands what you understand about the stock in the company. And it's more like a double in six to 12 months. I would say yeah. that's more realistic or what, if you're a good investor or good kind of, yeah, like shorter term investor type of hedge fund investor, that's what you're going for. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. And then, and then you can go totally to the Warren Buffett style where he's just doubling every five to 10 years. And in 50 years, you'll be a billionaire. That's a great, you know what? That's a great point. And the, the risk compared to crypto, obviously, is much smaller. And I think that's really the message that I'm trying to get across with a stock series is that, yes, it's not as sexy making, you know, however much gains compared to what you got in crypto. But you do need to have, you know, you don't want to have 100% of your wealth in crypto. Like even the most ardent of us that are, you know, really big in crypto, we still have other investments and stuff. And I think it's important to understand you just got to allocate and diversify and when you look at it like that, like, okay, if I double every five to 10 years for, you know, 50 years, like, wow, I'll really have a lot of money because that's definitely an exponential effect. But let's talk about different platforms you can be trading stocks on uh, because, you know, you've got the old traditional ones, which is like E-Trade and Ameritrade and Fidelity. And then you've got the new apps like Robinhood and, and Webull. And I, you know, I'm with you. I, I'm not a big fan of Robinhood at all with, I, I think really just the, message of we're here for the people and then we screw all the people i'm not big on that so i know they have similar practices to a lot of the other apps out there but personally i'm not going to support robin hood at all so from that perspective when you're looking at comparing something like fidelity versus webull what are kind of the advantages of both and what for the newer investor do you think is going to be their best bet yeah i think for a newer investor for a crypto oriented investor i think webull is a great option uh webull unlike uh, their smaller company than robin hood they don't handle a lot of their own settlement. So they had a third party kind of uh, handle all that in this last scandal. So they were able to unpause trading faster. Uh, that being said, I mean, Robinhood won, has won multiple design awards. Robinhood is the king of design and it's just going to be the best usability. Uh, Webull though, I mean, I know crypto folks are, are pretty smart and they, lo they love technical indicators. Webull actually has really great technical indicators on the phone and yeah. it has a desktop client. I really, I like Webull. The, the only downside for Webull is if you want to trade crypto, but I mean, if you're on this channel, you probably already are right. on like Binance or something, right? So yeah. you might not need that. And then on the margin, right? Like um, Webull's not going to offer uh, extended hours trading probably, but some of the legacy ones are like Fidelity, E-Trade, um, Fidelity, E-Trade, and TD Ameritrade. Uh, if you're going to be day trading, right, which I don't, I'm not going to be doing, but yeah. uh, then TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim is usually, has been, like I, I used that when I was in high school, right, to, when I was learning how to day trade. Um, but other than that, like does Webull uh, offer fractional shares? I think it's a really important one. Uh, yeah. Fidelity offers that. Oh, actually, now that I'm Googling it, uh, Webull does offer extended hours trading, but it doesn't look like they yet offer fractional shares. So the, so apples to apples, Fidelity offers fractional shares. So if you wanted yeah. to invest in Amazon, one of the best companies in the world, um, you, right? It's like th over $3,000. And if you don't yeah. want to invest $3,000, you just want to buy like a fourth of a Amazon share. That's what we call fractional shares. Oh, and it, to my knowledge... That's Fidelity and um, Fidelity and uh, Robinhood are the only ones that have had it for over a few months, right? Yeah. Um, so Schwab's, oh, there's Schwab there too, but 
And I would just say the downside of fidelity is it's so old and clunky. It's like yeah. you're using something from 1998. Mm. Um, but that's, I mean, but it has it. the biggest feature set. So yeah. you have extended hours, you have fractional shares. You can get turned on for international shares. I bought a really cool Australian company for the Roke big board at a couple cents.com. And uh, they have, you can do almost anything on, on fidelity. So I would say fidelity is if you're going to be, if you want the most options, but, and you're okay with having a really crappy design. Yeah. Um, and other than that, I think if you already have your crypto stuff taken care of somewhere else, like Weeble's a really great option. Yeah. And I think, I, I think that really, like when I think about crypto apps and I, I look at Weeble, it in a lot of ways is comparable. It actually reminds me a lot of the crypto.com app um, in, in many ways. I mean, obviously it's stocks versus uh, crypto, but I know that we bull, you know, we did a review of it a couple of weeks ago and I know that, you know, they do have a lot of like kind of indicators and, you know, TA tools and things like that that can help people. So, you know, ultimately I think that's what we're going to be using on this channel. But I think as we get a little more into this and start showing our stock portfolio and things, I definitely think that uh, Fidelity could be, you know, I like the fractionalized share thing that, you know, that's like in crypto tokenizing different things. It's very similar in that regard. So I think ultimately Robin Hood, we're not going to use it weeble that's probably where we're going to start and then who knows maybe we could uh move towards fidelity what would just lastly justin what would be some advice that you would give to someone who is you know looking to get into stocks from crypto yeah i think the the first thing is the interest uh and i don't mean interest earned i mean i mean yeah. uh getting interested Right. A lot of this stuff is to quote Matthew McConaughey and Wolf of Wall Street above the shoulders, you know, mustard. Yeah. Um, and, you know, a lot of what I'm trained to do is really boring. It's looking at earnings reports, it's looking at financials, et cetera. So, what I would say is the biggest thing to do, because stocks are such an important part of any portfolio, um, and they can be super conservative or they can be super aggressive, as aggressive as an alt coin to be honest yeah right like we have our own versions it's like penny stocks that can 10x in a day Ooh, I love um it. and that's what the wall street bet side of things yeah so what i would say is find your risk tolerance but also find what you're interested in if you really like electric vehicles like go buy some electric vehicle stuff i mean if we really like crypto and just want to start getting interested in crypto like in, in stocks like let's go look at Voyager, right? and I know they're public. Uh, I, I'm hoping I'm trying to get uh, their CEO on my channel um, nice. just to interview him. I mean, I, you know, I don't know much about, uh, do, do you guys use Voyager, right? If you use Vo the Voyager app for your crypto trading yeah. and you think that they're going to grow, right? Then you may want to own a piece of the company. Right. Kind of mm -hmm. like buying Coinbase's IPO, which we talked about mm -hmm. before. So I would say really find whatever it is, like anything. If you like real estate, there are, are home building stocks. If you like, I, I don't know, like skateboard manufacturers. Like I'm sure there's uh, some skateboard manufacturer stocks. Yeah. Uh, go find what you're really, what you really truly love. And I think there's a reason why you have all these Tesla, Tesla fanboys is because they really, really love their electric vehicle. And yeah. so they go buy Tesla stock. Yeah. And they, and they get a, uh, a Dogecoin wrap on it probably. Right. <laughs> I, that is a great idea. I want a Dogecoin wrap Tesla. That would be pretty interesting. Well, Justin, I, I think that's great advice. And for anyone who wants to go check out somebody who's got a lot of interesting takes and will do the boring stuff for you. So you don't have to, you can go check out Justin uh, a couple cents. The link would be down below. Make sure let's get those subscriber numbers up guys. Let's get him closer to a hundred thousand. He's got a lot of great information and he comes on the channel every week and we certainly, certainly appreciate him. Uh, Justin, you got anything else you want to add for you go today? Yeah, I want you on Monday to go buy some Peloton. I, I promise you I am. I, I but promise you, have to you make sure we Eastern are time. buying Peloton on Monday. Put it put it on the calendar. Put it on the calendar. We're gonna do it for sure. We gotta just make sure <laughs> that's your first position. Yep, my first position between nine nine and five. Nine a.m. and five p.m. Eastern Standard Time next no, week. No, 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 no. It's it's actually shorter than that. Oh God. It's, it's 9 30 Eastern and 4 p.m. Eastern. Oh my gosh. They even build in a, they don't even have a lunch break. This is crazy. All right. Well, we're, we're going to do it. So now we know we've only got about a seven minute period where we can buy stocks uh, on Monday, but we're going to do it. We're going to get it done. We're going to own that Peloton and uh, very excited about it next week. And hopefully we can start showing the portfolio here pretty soon. Everybody, 
if you want to see us talk about a certain stock, make sure to drop that down below in the comments. Justin, thanks for joining us. To everybody else, make sure to smash that like button if you like Friday is Stonks Day. That's all I got. Be blessed. Way out.